Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are finally doing another Shop My Stash. So I haven't done one of these since like before October <laughs> of last year. So it's really time to get some more rotation going on these, well, on my makeup collection. Uh, so if you're new to these videos, they're usually very long and I start with my old shot my stash and I basically give you like Short reviews on every product and what I thought about it and if I used it enough things like that sometimes I declutter things which may or may not be happening today and then I go and choose my new products and sometimes I roll for them randomly or I just pick them myself. But I am working on two um, project pans, well my deck of panning and another like rolling style project pan so those products will have to go in here also because then I will forget about them. <laughs> so anyway, let's just get started. I guess we'll start from the front. So I have lip products up here. The first one is this Tower 28 um, lip gloss in the shade Almond. The Shine on Lip Jelly. I like this. Um, I should have used this more, especially for this formula. Um, it can go bad quicker than other formulas because it's like clean beauty or whatever um it smells kind of weird to be honest <laughs> but nothing like bad so i'm gonna keep it in my collection i like this like brown nude kind of shade um i can give you a swatch too that's what it looks like it's actually quite deep for uh I don't know, for this formula, I guess, you would expect it to be more sheer, but there's quite a bit of pigment in it. Next, I had this NYX um, Intense Butter Gloss, and this is, like, very similar in, I don't know, that it's also nude gloss. <laughs> I guess that's the only similarity. Um, I really like this one, too. It's, like, a lighter, more neutral nude shade. And yeah, I'm gonna keep this in my collection, but I'll put it back. Um, then I had a lipstick from Charlotte Tilbury. This is Bond Girl. Actually, interesting fact, I guess, about this lip gloss. I mean, this lipstick, I went to look it up when I was like, I guess, putting in my description box in the last video and I couldn't find it. So I thought it was discontinued. But it's actually because they changed the name of this lipstick. So it's not called Bond Girl anymore, but it still exists. It's called, um, I forgot. But this is the lipstick. It's like a mauve, like a deep mauve, I guess. Um, I like it enough to keep, so yeah. And this is her matte formula, I believe. Like, it's not the kissing lipstick, I think. I get very confused with Charlotte Tilbury lip products. But anyway, I don't remember the name of this, but it's not Bond Girl. It's something to do with, like, James Bond still. But maybe, like, they got copyrighted infringement or something. <laughs> I don't know. So... This one, Physician's Formula Organic Wear Tinted Lip Treatment. I didn't use this a lot, but I really liked it when I did use it. It's a very pigmented product for a lip treatment. It smells kind of weird and it looks like it melted a little <laughs> in the tube, but I don't know, it's fine on the lips and I'm gonna keep it because I really like the shade of this. It, should I say it's called Ginger Snap. Very nice for like fall. This I was actually very pleasantly surprised by. The NARS, oh it was so small, I'm trying to read it. 
Afterglow lip balm in Laguna. This was a birthday gift last year and I really love this. It's just a tinted lip balm. Um, it's very, very sheer, if you can even see it. So yeah, compared to the other lip, kind of tinted lip thing, I mean, it's very like, you can barely see it on the lips, but it feels really nice and yeah, I like it. Um, this one, I don't think I used it. This is a bite, a mini one of the Amuse Bouche lipstick in Chai. Did I use this? I can't remember. That's the shade. Um, it still smells fine and everything, like considering it's a bite lipstick and these go off. But I'm going to keep it. I'm gonna put it back in my collection. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna keep that one. I should have used it more in the fall cause it's like one of those nice fall shades. But anyway, um, then we'll move on to this. This is my Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin in Y215, the Blurring Powder Foundation. I love this. Um, I think when I rolled it in, I wasn't sure like, I thought maybe it was time to declutter this or what, but I'm going to keep it because this is actually a very nice powder foundation for dry skin. It doesn't even look very powdery. I don't know how because it's obviously a powder, but somehow it just looks really nice and like skin-like on the face. So I'm going to keep this. I have two of these. The other one is like a lighter shade and it's in the, like the more warm, like, well, I don't know. It's R220, so R stands for red, I think, and Y is yellow. So I think they both work for me, just the other one's a bit light, but I'm going to keep this. Also keeping my Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. I love this. Um, yeah, it's not, um, a great shade for under eye because it's a bit, like, darker. It's the shade Pearl, and it's more like a face, a spot concealer. That's how I was using it, but I really like this. This one is the one I think I'm gonna declutter. Um, and by declutter, I mean like give it to a friend because it's basically brand new. I only used it a handful of times. This is the item beauty, right? Air hug concealer. And the issue with this, I think is mostly the shade is too light for me. I think it's the lightest shade. It's shade 100. And it's just basically white. <laughs> and Look at this packaging too, like, can we stop with these giant doe foots that just push all the product back out? Like, we're over it, right? <laughs> Is it just me? So, it looks like this. It's not the right shade for me. Even for my under eyes, it's too light. But also, I feel like this concealer, it, I don't know, I don't know how to, explain it. It's like it accentuates any texture under my eyes, which I didn't even think I had before using this product. So it's one of those concealers that just makes me look worse. Like I'd rather just not wear concealer than wear this. But I think it has to do with the fact that the shade is so light too, that it accentuates everything. You know, if it was more like a shade that blended in with my skin, it would probably look better. Because it looks like a formula I would really like. It's like a thick, like very creamy texture. But it just, yeah, no. Anyway, I got this in a boxy charm, So I didn't like pay full price for it, I guess. So I'm gonna give that to a friend who has a lighter skin tone than me. And I think it's finally time <laughs> to say goodbye to my Tarte Aqua Sealer. So if you're new here, this has been in my shop, my stash since like 2020. 
or maybe before I don't even know anymore this is I think the oldest concealer yeah the oldest concealer in my collection and it's as you can see below the line here is where the product is so it's basically almost empty like it's like the doe foot is not even touching the bottom of the product anymore it's just like on the tip if you can see that and I think this might be t like expired or separated in there but I wasn't like shaking it because I was keeping track of where I was since I was like unofficially trying to pan this for so long but um, the last time I wore it I feel like and actually the last few times I wore it I felt like it made my under eyes look dry so I'm just gonna call this one done. I'm sure it's expired also. I don't think it smells weird. Well, I don't know. It kind of does, but I feel like it smelled like that. Like when it was new also. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, it's not my favorite formula anyway. It's a very liquidy, like watery concealer, hence the name Aqua Sealer. And yeah. So I'm gonna put this in my empties, actually, and call that done. I guess we're going this way. This is the Primrose and Cream Lip and Cheek Cream Palette from Seraphine Botanicals. I actually ended up loving this. So I didn't use it as a lip palette because, I mean, I have so many lip products, I'm not gonna use like lip palettes really, but I, obviously used all three shades of this for blush and I loved it every time. I love these like terracotta shades for blush so I'm keeping this definitely. Just gonna put it back in my collection. I got this in a boxy charm. also I don't know where you can get Seraphine Botanicals so yeah. And I also really ended up liking this product, the Tower 28 Bronzino in Sun Coast. At first I was like, that is way too light to be a bronzer. But this product is more like something you wear kind of on like a no makeup makeup day. Because you, you kind of like diffuse it all over your cheeks and it basically works as like your blush, highlighter and bronzer. At least for me. And for this shade, that's how it works best. But that's also kind of how it's marketed on the Sephora app in like the promo photos and everything. It's just like all over the cheek basically. And every time I wear this, I get complimented. So it must be doing something. <laughs> anyway, I think I have some good use on it too. Because it's so light, I feel like I was like dabbing in quite a lot. So yeah, I'm gonna put that away, but really ended up liking this one um, then let's go back to these face palettes so this is my MAC, oops. this is my MAC star dipped face compact in the shade light this is not my favorite highlighter formula but it's so pretty <laughs> I love the pan embossing um, I do like the product. I think I mostly use this shade as a highlighter, but these two I could use as blush. Actually, it looks like I use this one quite a bit too. Um, it's just very hard pressed and hard to pick up on a brush. So yeah, I'm, I don't think I have the best brush for this because I heard like for this kind of hard press formula, it's best to have a natural bristle brush and I don't have any natural any natural bristle brushes. That's hard to say. <laughs> but anyway, I still made it work. It's just like not my favorite, but I'm not gonna declutter it either. So yeah. This NARS um, Narcissist Wanted One what is this called? <laughs> Cheek palette. I love this. I got some great use out of this. And what surprised me the most is the highlighter shade. If you can see, I used it quite a bit. Um, this is a beautiful highlighter. So, yeah. 
and the blushes are just like up my alley i love all of these shades i think the only one i didn't use was the the red one maybe just because it didn't go with well I guess it, I didn't think it went with any looks that I did, but I really know I like this kind of shade also for blush. So yeah, I'm really happy that I have this. It's old now, like I don't, this doesn't exist anymore, but um, yeah, I really like it and it kind of <laughs> makes me want to get more NARS face palettes, but I shouldn't, but yeah. This one will go back in my face palette drawer. Oh. I totally forgot about these until just now, honestly. The Velour, the Effortless Kit, um, I didn't use these. <laughs> I don't really ever wear lashes. I try to force myself to wear them by putting them in my Shop My Stash, but I just don't have an occasion where I feel the need for a fake lash. It just, I don't know. <laughs> But, I don't know, I, I'm gonna keep them, I mean... They've already been used, just not in this round. And I'm gonna keep... Anyway, I would keep this for the applicator and the lash glue anyway, because it's the only ash... It's the only lash glue that I own, so... <laughs> I'm gonna keep this, but I didn't use it. And then I had this Ofra On The Glow palette. This was fun to have in this project because there's so many different products. This is not a project. <laughs> I mean, it was fun to have in my Shop My Stash because there's so many different um, products in here. So I believe I pulled this in specifically for this product though. Like this is the one I rolled in my Tiny Decisions app, the California Dream Triangle. I mostly used it for the blush and I really liked it. Um, but I also liked the highlighter. I also ended up really liking this Americano bronzer. It's like a nice shimmery bronzer. It's a bit like deeper than other bronzers that I have. So maybe not the best for like winter months, but yeah, I really like this palette. So I'm keeping it. And then we're just left with these products here. Um, there was a foundation here, my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Dewy, but that was in my deck of panning last year. And as you saw, because that video will come before this one, um, I put that away in my collection. It's one of my favorite foundations, if not my favorite one in my collection. So that's what was here. But I also had this primer from um, Physician's Formula, the Spotlight Illuminating Primer. I only used this like once or twice because I was really trying to get use on my VDL primer and that's also a glowy primer so it's not like I could have worn these together, you know. Um, this one is similar to that one but I would say this one has like a deeper shade of glow not that it's like deep at all but it's more like a golden glow i guess i'm trying to say and i really like this i just kind of you know put it on the back burner because i was working on other things but i'm gonna put that back in my collection uh, this rare beauty liquid blush I don't remember the actual name of these and Rare Beauty doesn't write their full names on the products, which is kind of annoying. <laughs> but anyway, this is the shade Love and I love this. It's called Love and I love it, okay? <laughs> so this is again one of those like terracotta shades that I really like and this was this blush will literally last me my entire life because, well, unless it like dries up first. <laughs> but. I don't even put like a full dot of this on each cheek like I barely graze my cheek with the applicator and that is enough for like my whole cheek on like a one on each side so this is so much product for this type of formula but yeah I'm keeping this I really like it and this is the only 
uh, Rare Beauty liquid blush that I own. So, keeping that. Um, this Too Faced Melted Matte in Pumpkin Spice. I think I wore it once, but I really liked it. I really like the Melted Matte formula. If I'm going to be wearing a liquid lipstick, I like this formula. Um, it wears nicely, like it doesn't like patch up or get all weird, so I am keeping this. And it smells like pumpkin spice, so how could I not? <laughs> keeping that one. This one, however, this ColourPop uh, Fresh Kiss Lip Cream in Tonight We Fly. This is from one of the Hocus Pocus collections. Um, the most recent one. Uh, this is not my favorite, but I think I'm gonna have to keep it because it would really bother me if I got rid of just the Winifred one and then I still had the other two, you know? It would be like a missing part of the collection and I just cannot have that <laughs> at this point in my makeup collection journey, I guess. But the issue with this, it's not really the formula. It's more that the shade of this is just so deep. It's almost like a black, a blackened purple. And this is does not dry down. So it's a super like creamy, moussey lip product. So you can imagine like this shade and mixed with that formula, it just goes everywhere. And I feel like every time I, like move my lips together to like, you know, blend it in. It just moves the product around more and it's just kind of a mess. And I have this shade in other formulas and I like them better. So normally I would declutter that in those scenarios, but I just can't get rid of one sister and keep the other two. So yeah, that's going to stay in my collection. We'll see if I change my mind at some point. Over here I had the Tarte Maracuya Glossy Lip Oil. I've said it before. This is not a lip oil. This is a lip gloss, but I really like it. It smells amazing. I don't know what this smell is, but it's like something from my childhood. And the shade is nice. It's very sheer. It looks quite bright in the tube but it goes on like a sheer pink and yeah I like this I'm gonna keep this same with this Tarte Maracuya Juicy Lip I love these this is the shade Holiday Spritz but there's nothing really holiday about it it just came in a holiday kit it's actually like a very like neutral <laughs> type of pinky nude shade so yeah keeping that one very easy to use this kind of product. Um, oh, this is interesting. This is going in my empties also, and you might be like, wait, wasn't that brand new when you rolled it in? Yes, it was. The Kosas Hot Liner Hyaluronic Acid Plumping Lip Liner. I do not recommend these at all because I know that other people have had the same issue with these. They literally expire like after you open it one time. So what happened with mine, I'll show you. If I can even open it. This is what mine <laughs> looks like. So if you can see that. Um, what happened is the, the actual like amount of product that was in here it fell out of this component and it got stuck to the inside of the cap and it, I could not get it out but it was still like intact like it was still a tube so I tried to like put it back in like like this but then it just broke and got all smushed and then I was actually using this like as you see here I was using it like a lipstick <laughs> like the side of the product and I'm sorry I have way too many lip products in my collection to be trying to use something that looks like this. So unfortunately this is just going in the empty spin and I was so sad about it because I don't know if you guys saw the haul where I hauled this. 
This actually came in a kit with like a, the collagen lip treatment and a wet lip oil, whatever those are called, and this. And I loved how it was like arranged, like all three of those products and the shades. Well, the collagen lip thing was clear, but you know what I mean. Um, yeah, I was so excited to try this. And then that happened, so I was very disappointed. <laughs> anyway, because I love the shade of this too. It's in the shade Max. Anyway, don't buy this, but I'm just telling you, that's the shade. <laughs> so this is going in my empties bin. And until Kosas says that they've reformulated their lip liners, then maybe I'll go back to them one day. But yeah, until then, these are a no for me. Um, this is just a lip brush that I had in here from Aveda, you know. I don't honestly, not sure why I put that in here, but that can go back my lip liner container. Uh, this Smashbox Always Sharp Lip Liner, this is a great lip liner. The cap is self-sharpening, so it's always sharp, hence the name. It's just a really nice red shade that I use when I seldomly use my red lipsticks, but it's just a great one to have, so keeping this. Oh, so these two products, I don't think got any use at all. This one is my Makeup Forever Aqua Resist Color Pencil in the shade Ivy. And I was excited to have rolled this in because it's a nice like deep purple, if you can see here. And I thought that would have been really nice for fall looks, but I didn't reach for it <laughs> ever. I thought about using it on the waterline, but I didn't. But this is, um, I don't have tons of colored eyeliners, so I'm going to keep this one. Um, and it's not super old or anything, so I'm going to keep that. This is a liquid eyeliner from, uh, what is this? I forget the name of this brand. It's called Dragon Liner. It's like an indie brand from, well, I'm assuming an indie brand from BoxyCharm. And it's still like super black and, you know, liquidy. So I'm gonna keep it, but I just never reach for my black eyeliners. I used to only wear black liquid liner, like in high school. I don't know how I did it. Like, I thinking back, I don't even know how I did the wings because I, <laughs> I'm so bad at it. Maybe it just looked horrible and I thought it was cute. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna keep this because it's still functional, but anyway, I don't know. Even having uh, liquid liners in my shop, my stash does not help me reach for them, apparently. So that was everything for this container. I'm gonna transfer my other products from projects back into here and hope that there's room left for actual like shopping my stash and i'll be back okay before i go back to my other products i forgot about the stuff in my everyday makeup drawer so some of this was also in my shop my stash this here this bare minerals mineral veil i thought i would be able to use this up um, to be honest, because it's just like a sample size, but there's still <laughs> some product in there. I was using this quite a bit, actually. I tried using it as like, kind of like an everyday product, just like a no makeup, makeup day. And when I go to the office at work, I was using this. Um, and I, I liked it, but I found if I put too much of this, it did start to look powdery on my dry skin. So it's not my favorite type of product. Um, I prefer, if I'm going to use a powder foundation, I prefer my Makeup Forever. But there's just like a bit left in here, so I'll put this back in my collection for using up in the future. Um, Normally I'd keep it and just use it up, but I rolled in two other powders in my other project, so I'm going to put this away. 
um, this half magic Duloc hydrating set and refresh mist. I really like this, but I have to shield my eyes when I put this on because it will start to crease my eyeshadows. But other than that, it's a fine setting mist. Um, I do feel like it's nice for my dry skin, I guess. And yeah, I'm going to put this back. This is like a heavy um, component too. It's like a thick tin packaging, so it still feels quite heavy, although I'm sure I used a lot of this because it was my only setting spray I was using for the last couple of months. So yeah, I'm going to put that away. Um, these brow products, I think I'll just... Should I leave them like this? Actually, no, because what will happen if I keep my Kosas Clear Brow Gel in here, I will reach for this over the Patrick Ta um, Brow Wax that I rolled into my um, rolling project. So I'm going to put this back for now. I really like this, though. It's a nice gel. I don't think you would like this one if you're someone who really wants your brow hairs to like stand up straight and be like laminated to your face this will not do that it's very it's a very light hold i would say but for me it's fine and this i'm just trying to use up i think it's almost done it's getting very dry my essence make me brow so i'll just keep this in here for now and then the kosas brow pencil brow pop whatever um I like this. I like the shade of this. Um, I just don't reach for brow pencils that often, but I'm going to put this one back. My Drunk Elephant Amber Tint, you saw it in my deck of panning video. I, I didn't use it up as I intended to, and it's expired, but I'm keeping it to mix in with my um, primers to give them a glow, I guess. <laughs> so. That's almost done. And this is just something that lives in here. This Bite Beauty Lip Primer. I use this, well, when I remember to. I like to use this before using a liquid lipstick because it just makes it less dry and provides like a barrier to smooth my lips. So, and there's not a lot of product in this at all. Like, that's everything. So I think I think this is a mini size. So yeah, hopefully I'll just remember to reach for this. But it's always in here. Same with this Elf lip scrub. This is not my favorite anymore. Uh, I think I really liked it at first, but it kind of like dried up, and it's hard to like get the scrubbies to like come off. If you know what I mean. But I'm gonna keep it. It's still like. It's not expired or anything, as far as I know. This is the brown sugar version of this. So that just lives in here for whenever I feel like I need to scrub my lips. <laughs> but honestly, I, I don't reach for it much because I'm trying to use up my actual like potted lip scrubs. I have those in the shower. Well, I work on one at a time, but I've been doing that in the shower, so I wouldn't like do the loose scrub and then this because that's just gonna over scrub you know um then this is the lip balm i'm trying to use up right now the pure Lease daily lip nourisher with mango and shea butter i really like this i don't love the applicator it's one of these like slanted plastic things um yeah i don't love that but i like the formula and it's almost empty so gonna keep that here. This is a new product that I put in this drawer, the uh, Dr. Jart Sika Pear Tiger Grass Color Correcting Treatment, SPF 30. So this I, I don't know. Why did I put it in here? Not sure. <laughs> Maybe I just wanted to start using this as like you know, a daily product because there's SPF in it. Although it's also a green color corrector. So, oops, it looks like this. I recently hauled this product. I think I got it in the last, like, I got it in some kind of VIB sale. I don't remember anymore. 
but yeah I should just start using this because it does expire but I still have another year <laughs> it expires oh in 2025 actually I thought it was 2024 so I have even longer but yeah I want to get into the habit of using this and see if I like it this is just like a mini size so shouldn't be too difficult to use it before it expires and yeah there's that um this over here also lives in this drawer the tatcha the pearl um they actually don't make this anymore um it's a tinted like eye cream um i don't know about this i feel like i don't reach for it because i'm afraid to add too much product to my under eyes because then I just look worse like with you know this and then concealer and if I set my concealer that's like three products under my eyes and I don't like to accentuate like my fine lines or like any texture under there obviously so <laughs> I tend not to reach for this but I should just be using this like on an on a regular day because it is an eye cream like there is like skincare properties in this so I should be using it and I saw that Jaylon from J Loves Makeup she used up her entire one so I was kind of inspired like okay maybe I should just do that too <laughs> but yeah there's this um then I have my whoop, well I didn't mean to reach for this one but I have my NYX glitter primer which I rarely use but it lives in this drawer in case I need it but I always use my Urban Decay primer potion and original whenever I put eyeshadow on this is actually um, if you can see there I would say this is half empty so I'm making good progress on this I, I just use so little of this at a time and I don't wear eyeshadow like every day so yeah but anyway, that's my primer in rotation. Well, it's, I'm trying to use it up and then I have other, I have backups. Not of this, but of other eyeshadow primers from BoxyCharm. Anyway, then for mascara, right now I have opened the Hourglass Caution Extreme Lash Mascara. I actually really like this, but this sample is has dried up so I might use it today for like the last time and then I'll have to call it done but I'm gonna put this on my Sephora loves list if it even still exists I don't know <laughs> I feel like makeup is being like discontinued or reformulated so often lately but yeah if I can find it I'm gonna put it on my loves list and I would definitely buy the full size of this um, probably on like a sale or something because I'm sure since it's hourglass it's very pricey but yeah really like this one actually then I always have this in here my L'Oreal voluminous primer I don't know I don't use it very often it's just a white primer this was best with the L'Oreal lash paradise I actually got that mascara with this in like a duo so it's meant for that and it doesn't work with all other formulas of mascara but I have it in here I also have my Charlotte Tilbury uh, dream pop so this is like a berry brown shade of mascara and I really loved this when I first started using it it's not my favorite applicator it's like one of these Oops, not focusing. One of these like weird flat ones with like spikes on the side. Um, I like it for my lower lash though, but I don't know. I really liked this at first, but <laughs> I was wearing this to work and people were like, why are your eyes so red? And I was like, what do you mean? <laughs> I think like the shade of this makes my like pulls the red from my eyes and makes me look like tired or something anyway like kind of turned me off from this but some i still use it sometimes it is getting a bit old like i've had it open for a while and i have noticed like 
it does flake a little the last few times I used it so it might not be around much longer but I have this one open as well and then I have a waterproof mascara the Lancome Monsieur Big and I really like this this is super old but it still like works so well it's still like wet and it doesn't flake on me it's really good so I'm just going to keep it until it's not good anymore. And then I just keep my e.l.f. like makeup remover pen in here for if ever I get around to doing liquid liner. I can use this to clean it up. And then my Tarte Maracuya. No, this is not a Maracuya line product. <laughs> my Tarte Fake Awake. This is just a nude liner. I actually use this quite often because it it just adds like a nice brightness to my eye looks and makes my waterline not look as red. <laughs> so this always stays in here. And then up here I just have my little Physician's Formula sharpener. It's just cute and it has two sizes so if I have like a jumbo lip pencil I can sharpen it in there and just a regular one so I keep that in here and then this is just like tools I guess so my sponge stays in here my um beauty blender power pocket whatever this is called which I rarely use because I don't use powder that often I have a little sponge for concealer but I don't really use it. I have my color switch, which I use sometimes. My Odin's Eye mirror and Sephora makeup tape. So that's fine staying there. Anyway, I just wanted to show you this before I rearrange some things. Okay, so over here on my makeup vanity, I also have eyeshadow palettes. So some of these are in my Pando's Eyeshadows project, which I have basically stopped <laughs> doing. Um, but I haven't filmed like a finale or anything yet, so I think I'm going to keep them here until that. So that's the e.l.f. 100 color palette here that's in that project. Um, so is this Barbarella from B Beauty London. That's in that project. Uh, the ABH Sultry is in that project. And the e.l.f. Bite Size Palette in Cream and Sugar. So I think that's everything if I remember correctly one two three four no what else is in that project oh this lunar beauty nude prism palette I thought this was the shot my stash but no this beautiful palette here so I'll keep those around until I get around to filming that video and I'm kind of contemplating replacing it with another eyeshadow theme project but I'll have to think a bit more on that but the palettes that were in here from the shot my stash were the, the Patrick Ta Major Dimension 2 this is beautiful I didn't use this as much as I would have liked but it's you know, I gotta rotate through things, so I'm gonna put that away. And it's like one of the newer palettes in my collection, so that's fine. This uh, ABH Norvina, I don't think I used this at all. And I think it's because this palette to me is more of a spring and summer palette. It is a really nice palette. The mattes in here are amazing, actually. Um, but yeah, it's just not calling to me for winter, so I'm going to put that away. This Vive palette, I didn't use this. I don't know why, because I love the color story. This would have been really nice in the fall. Um, but I think since it's the new year, I want to really 
start fresh. So I'm gonna put this back too, although I should have used it more. This Winky Lux kitten palette, I didn't use either. It looks like this. This is not my favorite palette, but I wanted to get more use out of it before I decide if I declutter it or not, but I didn't. <laughs> so I guess that's going back too. And then, yeah, the rest will stay in here. So I have one, two, three, four, four more slots for new palettes. Yeah, so that, I think that covers everything now. And I can finally choose some new products. I need to think strategically on this because I don't want to pull too many of the same things and then not use the products that I have in projects, if that makes sense. So let me think where I want to start and then I'll take you along. Okay, let's start over here because I haven't pulled anything from this spinny thing in a while and honestly, I hate the way it looks. <laughs> I might use this for my craft in for my crafts instead, like for my markers and pins and stuff, because it's not really working for makeup storage. But anyway, it's just like one of these spinny things. Um, so in here I have just like random assortment of things, setting sprays, lip products, lip products that don't fit in my acrylic drawers, like they're too long. Eyeliners, brow products, yeah. So I have room for three lip products to choose. So maybe I can pull one from here. Something that I haven't used in a while. What's this? So, so far I have two lip glosses and one lipstick. So maybe like a liquid lipstick. I have these Huda ones. I don't know, have I used these recently? I have Bombshell and Trendsetter. Um, what's it? I feel like I might have had these recently. Let's swatch them. I think Trendsetter's like a nude more and Bombshell is like a pinky. Yeah. So Trendsetter is this more like brown one and this is Bombshell. I'm gonna pull in Bombshell because I'm not sure if I even like the shade of that on my lips. Um, so I'll need to revisit that because it might look too pink on me. So I'm going to pull in Bombshell and then I guess we'll move <laughs> over here. This is my new MAC um, Teddy Crew whatever party vault. Should I maybe pull something from this? That could be fun. My battery's gonna die, so I'll decide and come back. Okay, yes, so I have decided I do wanna pull something from here. Um, and if you wanna see swatches on these, I swatched everything in my haul video, um, my Sephora haul video. So let's see. Do I want another bullet lipstick? Yes, I think I do. So. Maybe this Teddy 2.0 could be fun. I love the packaging on this. It's that like soft touch matte. So this is a powder kiss lipstick. Actually, yes, I would really love to try this because I haven't tried any MAC powder kiss lipsticks. So I'm gonna pull in this one. Um, over here, so on top of this is where my Shop My Stash container goes. Underneath is like new products slash things I don't know where else to put. <laughs> so like my bronzers, powder blushes, yeah, the rest is 
mostly lip products. So I think we'll... What should we do with that? I don't know. This is why I like using my tiny decisions app because I have so many, <laughs> so many options. Um, I'm just looking at my products that I have already. So I'm working on two blushes, a cream and a powder. Well, I do also have a Natasha Denona Glam Face Palette. So there's a blush in there. Let's pull another powder blush, I guess. So, I keep that in here. So, yes, in here, actually, this is a bronzer. Um, oh, and yeah, my Patrick Ta blushes. Let's pull a powder blush for this time of year. What have I not used? I haven't used this in a long time. Maybe I should pull this in. This is the Stellar... Oh, let me put this down. The Stellar... Uh, I guess, I don't know, it's just a blush. There's no name on it. But it's... The shade is Eclipse. And this brand used to be sold at Sephora, but it's not there anymore. And I think I got this when they put everything on sale. It's a nice, like, shimmery blush. And there is a brush in the bottom. But let's see. Let's do a swatch. Oh, it feels very soft. Ugh. It's very difficult to film at this angle. That's the blush. Oh, that looks really pretty. Yes, so let's do that one. That's the, it blended out. That looks nice. Okay, we're doing that. So I think we're good on that section because typically I just like to pull one or two things from each section. So let's move down. So now we're in the lower <laughs> section of my makeup thing. Um, so all, everything here is lip gloss, all these. And then I have more blush here, ow, <laughs> blush and more blush, powder blush. Let's do one more lip gloss. So I'll try and show you what I have here. I still have this Dior thing kicking around, this like sample of lip products. I should, actually I should pull this out. Let me do that, because I, I don't want it in here anymore. I really want to use this, this Givenchy. Let me put this back. Givenchy, um, what were these called? Rose Perfecto Liquid Balm in the shade 210, because I haven't used this since I bought it. <laughs> and it just calling to me. So let's do this one. Then that's it for that container. But let me show you. So back here, I have more, more stuff here. <laughs> I have more mini lipsticks up there. I have powders, but I'm good on powders because I am working on two already. I have my Too Faced melted mattes in this drawer. I have ColourPop Oh, I should use that. Yes, so let me go into this. So in here, so this is what I was referring to. I, how can I get rid of Winifred when I have the two other ones, you know? So <laughs> anyway, not those, but these. And this is actually a perfect time to pull for one of these because Valentine's Day is coming. Um. So these are all the ColourPop Fresh Kiss Lip Creams from the Secret Admirer collection. It's just a matter of choosing which color. If you can see, that's all the shades here. So I have some nudes already. So I'm thinking of this one. Mm, yeah, because I don't have anything else like this in my shop my stash right now 
This is the shade Date Night. That's pretty. Let's do that one. I also have liquid lipsticks and cream and liquid highlighters down there, which I never reach for. So let's see about this. So I have all of these. Let me pull this Tim2 Liquid Glow from BoxyCharm because it honestly looks kind of weird and I'll have to see if I still want to keep this in my collection. So we'll do this one. Over here I have like my display items. So like my Harry Potter pressed powder palette. I have like lip, um, lip collections here. Just like things that don't fit anywhere else, but let's just leave that <laughs> for now because I'm going to make a mess. Over here I have more lip products up here. Here is sort of like drugstore slash ColourPop lip products. Oh, we definitely have to do one of these, ColourPop heart blushes. Okay. So let's look at them. The, this one's called Let's Dance. That's the shade. Um, okay, that could be a good one. These are hard to open, so bear with me. This one is Forever Yours. Oh my god. Okay, I can't get this one off. <laughs> let's see this one. This beautiful one is called Baby Cakes. Ooh, that is pretty. This one is called Kiss and Tell. This one looks different because this is like the original one they came out with and then they released the, all the other ones. This one's just a really nice like neutral tone. Then I have Text Me. Looks like it's gonna be nice and vibrant. Oh yeah, that's like fuchsia. And the last one is Flirt Alert. Which looks to be a mauve tone. Yeah, that one that I apparently dug my nail into. So I couldn't open Forever Yours and I really want to see what, what it looks like. Okay, I finally got <laughs> this one open. I had to use a letter opener. Um, that's what it looks like. So that was the shade Forever Yours. So I'm just looking at all of them now. I want to pull this one. This just looks very fun. Like a nice purpley blush. Yeah, I'm going to go with this one. This one is baby cakes. And down here I have cream blushes. I'm already working on, well, I'm working on one in a project and I have there's one in the Natasha Denona Glam Face Palette, and I think we can do another one. And I really want to use my Charlotte Tilbury Glowgasm Beauty Light Wand in the shade Pink Gasm because I haven't used it. I don't think ever. <laughs> I think I only swatched it when I first got it, so definitely this one will be pulled in. Oh dear. <clears throat> so in this drawer I have, well, a tray of lip products that don't fit anywhere else. And then underneath here is my face palette drawer, <laughs> which looks like a mess right now. Okay, what should I do here? So do I have room for any more lip products? Not really. No, I don't have room for this kind of lip product. Um, so let's put this aside, but for face palettes, so 
sorry, this angle is terrible. Um, oh, I have something in my new makeup drawer, which I want to pull. So now that I got reminded <laughs> Valentine's Day is coming up, and with all these like ColourPop Valentine's Day products, I have other Valentine's Day themed makeup that I should pull for. This is something, but I actually have another Natasha Denona product I'm thinking of, but this is the Love Glow Cheek Palette. I actually had this in this shop my stash recently, so I won't pull this one, but this is beautiful. I love it. Um, but yeah, not this. I also have this though, which I have not used yet. The Patrick Ta... No. <laughs> this is Patrick Star's brand, one size, and this is a beautiful cheek palette. Oh, that's really pretty. But I'm still thinking of something else. What is this? I guess I don't need this thing. Um, oh, but that's pretty. Okay, I might have to pull this anyway. It's just too pretty. This is um, the Cheek Clapper 3D Blush Trio in the shade Fat Ass. <laughs> P-H-A-T. But yeah, okay. This is fun, this one. Okay, so now we'll move back to my desk where I keep palettes, eyeshadow palettes and my new makeup. And we'll see what else I can pull. Okay, so we're in my bottom eyeshadow palette drawer here. And I realize I only have like one more slot for eyeshadow palettes in my like eyeshadow palette um, organizer thing and I thought it was fitting to just go with the ColourPop Secret Admirer palette because I haven't reached for it since last Valentine's Day and it just makes sense to me so I'll take it out. Oh I kept this packaging because it's so cute. It's like a little Valentine envelope. This is what the palette looks like. Oh yes, this has to happen. So cute. Okay, so that will be my chosen eyeshadow palette. Up here I have uh, mini palettes, but like I said, I don't really have room to pick any more palettes, but that's what's in this drawer, if anyone cares. <laughs> this is my complexion drawer. So primers, foundations, tinted things. Um, but I'm already working on a tinted serum from Rose Ink and my Tarte foundation. So I think I'm also good on this. And I also am working on two primers. So that's fine then for this drawer. We can close this. Um, since we're here, I'll just show you my new everyday makeup drawer setup. So I did add the products that I was referring to that I'm working on. Um, so this stayed the same, but I added my Pure 4-in-1 Correcting Primer. This is in my whole collection, like, rolling project. I still don't know what the official name of that is, but I put that here. And this will be a great one to mix with the Umbra Tint because this doesn't have any, um, any, like, glow to it. It's more like a moisturizing primer. Um, over here I have my brow products, so my Essence Make Me Brow and my Patrick Ta Brow... What is this called officially? Bra Shaping Wax. It's just the clear one. This is the Tinted Serum. What is this? Yeah. Skin Enhanced Luminous Tinted Serum from Rose Ink that is in my project. These are the two powders in that project, the Becca Hydra Mist and the KVD Locket setting powder. This is the other primer I'm working on, the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. And back here is my Tarte foundation that I will hopefully use up this year. That's the goal. 
mascaras stayed the same and this stayed the same over here is my highlighter drawer that is getting a little full <laughs> for my liking so i have two highlighters in my rolling project and i pulled that liquid highlighter from tem2 so I think I'm all right for highlighters because there's also a highlighter in the Natasha Denona Glam Face Palette. This is my new makeup drawer, which is actually pretty organized right now. I just redid all this. There were other products in here that were still like in the box and everything, but I either like just took them out of the box to save space or I put them away because they've been new for like a year so <laughs> it was time um but oh so I wanted to pull something that's in this drawer and here it is the Natasha Denona Cupid Cheek Duo cream blush and highlighter so I got this from BoxyCharm and it looks like this I'll try to open it with one hand so it's a cream blush and a highlighter, like I said, and I think I'll pull this one simply because it's called the Cupid Cheek Duo, <laughs> and I feel like it's a Valentine's Day themed product. Now that I'm looking at it, it kind of looks exactly like the blush and highlighter in the Glam Face Palette, so I, I can compare those in a few minutes. But let's pull this one because otherwise it will just be in here forever. Um, what else is in here? Oh, I have to tell you guys. So I just filmed my Sephora haul, right? But then I went to Sephora <laughs> because this is my issue because I have to get my coffee at the mall because I'm using the Nespresso Virtual Machine and I hate ordering with the app because you have to order like 50 things. I don't know. You have to reach like a, a threshold to get free shipping. And last time I ordered from there, they screwed up my order. So now like I just go to the store and get the copy. But the issue is it's right next to the Sephora. So clearly every time I go, I have to go to Sephora <laughs> to see what's new. So they had the new Too Faced uh, cloud crush blushes so I had to get one I got watermelon rain this is actually the shade I would have got um, like online but in store they only had this one and this was the last one and they had the like the beigey neutral one so I got watermelon rain but I'm glad that I got this one and I want to show you what it looks like it's very cute it kind of reminds me of like online it reminded me of the gucci blush but in person it's not at all the same so there's a little heart here and it opens oh my god this is very difficult with one hand okay Look at this, beautiful. It also smells really good. It's like, I don't know what that smell is. It smells like fruity, Whoop. fruity and I don't know, nice. <laughs> um, but I'm not gonna pull this because I already pulled all those other blushes. But I just wanted to show you that I got this and I also got the Rare Beauty Sincerely Me Mini Eyeshadow Essentials. I totally missed this. I don't know if I thought this was just like her regular size of this palette. So I was like, oh, I don't need that. But it's actually a mini palette and a mini mascara. And this mascara I've heard great things about. And it was on my loves list. And I saw this in the Isle of Doom. So naturally I had to pick this up too. <laughs> So now I have this, but yeah, everything else you would already be aware of. So I think we're good on this drawer. I do have more room in my Shop My Stash container. So I'm thinking I'll do some random um, 
generated products too, just because that's really fun for me. I know some of you had said you prefer when I pick the products myself, but for me, it's like a fun challenge to work on something that I wouldn't have picked myself. So yeah, let's do that. So I'll show you what I have so far and we'll pick some more products. Okay, so I changed my mind a little. <laughs> I'll explain as I go. But this is, is everything in frame here? Let's see. This is my new Shop My Stash and I think it looks really fun and Valentine's Day-ish, which is, you know, seasonally appropriate for this time of year. So, I'll start down here. Um, this is the Marc Jacobs Forbidden Fruit lip gloss that's in my my rolling project for 2023. So that's in here. Then I put my Givenchy Liquid Balm, my ColourPop Secret Admirer Fresh Kiss Lip Cream in Date Night. This is the other lip gloss in my rolling project, the Lumen Lip Gloss from Lethal Cosmetics in the shade Nova. This is amazing, I love it. Then I have my Teddy 2.0 to try. And this was rolled into my deck of panning. This is the ABH matte lipstick, right? Yeah, matte lipstick in the shade Kiss. I have to use this six times before I can roll it out because it was a random use prompt. Um, over here I have my MAC Double Gleam, which is in my 2023 project. Same as this Hard Candy Rose Gold Highlighter, if I can get it out. <laughs> this one is in that project as well. Then this is the blush I pulled, the Stellar Eclipse Blush. I have my two concealers that are in... Okay, this one is in my rolling project, the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin. I only use this as a spot concealer. And then for my deck of panning, I rolled the prompt affordable. Well, I pulled the card <laughs> for the prompt affordable. So I chose my e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. I have to revisit this and see if I like it. I'm not sure how I feel, so, but for now I will be here. And this is the shade Fair Warm. Over here I have my Baby Cakes blush from Colourpop. This is the cream blush in my rolling project, the Freck Beauty Cheek Slime in the shade Fever Dream. This is a red blush <laughs> and I'm very scared to try it. Um, then I have my Makeup Forever Face Compact. I pulled well, I rolled this blush for my rolling project, so we'll see how much use I get on that. There's also a matte powder in here and like a contour shade, so I have those to use as well. Um, this was rolled into my um, 2023 rolling project. I really need to find a name for that because I keep calling it something different. Um, this is the Alamar Hydrating Complexion Trio, and I'm working on this bronzer, Cafe Con Leche. But there's also a matte powder, a highlighting like under eye powder, and this more like all over kind of bronzer shade for me. But I'm focusing on this one. Um, then I just have my Dior samples in here. These are all lip products and I just want to use them up because this is taking up a lot of space. Um, but there's these two. There's the Stellar Shine in Pink Meteor. The Stellar Halo Shine in Pink Star. And behind here I have the Stellar Gloss in Mirrored. So hopefully I can just use these up. I feel like there is a lot of product in this for a blister pack sample, but we'll see. I'm actually thinking of doing a video using only my samples because I have a sample bag and I'd rather just use them and not leave them aside. Um, oh, so these are the products I added after I cut the last clip. 
So I was thinking, what are the other products that were in the ColourPop Secret Admirer collection? Because let's just do the whole Valentine's Day theme. So there's this, the Soul Body Shimmering Body Powder. Um, it's in the shade Pretty Peachy. So let's open this. So it's this huge compact here and I never use body powders, but I do use this as like a blush lighter kind of product or like a blush topper. So I'm definitely wanting to get more use on this and I felt like this would be the best time for that. So I'll give you a swatch of this. It feels amazing. It is very metallic. So how can I show you this? <laughs> That's the swatch. So you can see why I use it as a blush lighter kind of product. Cause it actually is, like there's actually a base to it. And as a highlighter, it's too deep for my skin tone. But if I blend it into my blush, it looks like it's just part of the blush, you know? So there's this one. I don't know why I'm keeping it in the packaging. I might not do that going forward, but for now, it's just gonna be like that. Then back here, you can't really see, but I have the Temp2 liquid highlighter here. I have my eyeliner. It's a, just a black pencil liner that got rolled into my 2023 project. Um, this is the Huda Beauty liquid lipstick in Bombshell. I just put it back here because it's long and skinny, so looks better here. My two lip liners that are in my rolling project, the Bodyography Rosewood and MAC Soar. The, and these look like they might work for multiple products that I have down here, so that should be easy enough. Then I put my Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Wand here, which I'm very excited to use. And this is one of the setting sprays in my rolling project, the Peach and Lily Glass Skin Veil Mist. So that will be in here for the whole year, I suppose, because it's brand new, so I probably won't use that up. This one I'll try to see if I can use up. It's the In Beauty setting spray, also in that project, but this one has a lot more use on it. It's a dual phase product, so it's actually more like here but I think I can use this one up because this one you don't have to be as careful with how much you apply because it's not like a glowy spray it's really like for setting makeup or for like refreshing your skin so there's that and then I also going with the Colourpop Secret Admirer <laughs> theme I have the Pretty Peachy Shimmering Dry Oil as well and this is a product I never reached for and I can't use this um, for anything else that's what it looks like before you shake it but I figured if I put it in here this might be really fun to use like on filming days like I could put it on my um, collarbone <laughs> I forgot the name of that or like on my shoulders if I, I don't know, happen to wear any kind of thing that shows my shoulders. I don't know. It's still like the dead of winter here. But we'll just see. I just really want to force myself to get some use on this. Because it looks really pretty in the bottle. I just don't wear like... I'm always wearing sweaters basically. <laughs> so when would I use this? That's the question. But I'll try. I'll try to force myself into it. <clears throat> then this is the Natasha Denona Cupid Cheek Duo. And I wanted to compare this with this here, the Natasha Denona Glam Face Palette. Because this was pulled into my deck of panning. Because the prompt was this time last year. And this time last year, I didn't buy anything at Sephora. I actually didn't buy anything at Sephora last year until March, like after the VIB sale. And that was like really great. And I should do that again. 
Um, but anyway, so the closest like thing I had to this time of year was December 29th of the previous year, which was when I purchased this. And I haven't even used it yet. That is terrible. So yeah, anyway, all that to say, I wanted to compare the blush and highlighter from this palette to this one. But now that I'm looking at it, it's not the same. Okay, that's good. Cause I was like, are these just the same products in a different packaging? <laughs> but no, I think you can see this is more of like a, a pinky red blush. And this highlighter looks more gold than this one. So yeah, I don't, I think I can still use these. So the blush in here is also a cream blush. But the highlighter is the, it's just a powder cream, or is it a cream? I'm confused. No, that's a powder. Oh, that's it here. If you can see on my thumb. <laughs> this says on the back that it's a universal pinkish beige. Yeah, I see that. So yeah, it's not the same. That's good. So I don't mind having in all of these. Anyway, this palette is not in here for any particular product so i can just use the eyeshadows one day or just the blush and mix and match anyway i'm excited about this actually so there's that and then the patrick star i need to start saying one size because whenever i say patrick i want to say patrick ta <laughs> But it's not Patrick Ta, it's Patrick Star's brand, one size. And this I'm very excited to use because it's brand new, I haven't used it yet. And look at these cute pink tones for Valentine's Day. I'm so excited about this. There's a cream blush in here and then two powders. Very excited. And then back here, I only pulled one random product using my Tiny Decisions app. And so I was looking at everything and I was like, what is missing? And I realized I only have the one bronzer in this Alamar Cosmetics Trio. So I rolled the wheel to pull another bronzer. And the first one I got was the Hula, was Benefit Hula, but that was just in a Shop My Stash or Deck of Penning. It was in some kind of thing. And I was like, no, I'm not excited about that. So I rolled again and I got the Fenty Beauty, um, this, <laughs> what is this called? The Sun Stalker Face and Eye Bronzer Highlighter Palette. I'm so excited now. So I only used this once in like when I first bought it. So this is, um, like the name said, it's for eyes and bronzing and highlighting so you can do whatever you want with this so i'm very excited actually i love getting products like this in my shop my stash because i can use them different ways every time i do my makeup so yeah i'm i will also be using this and that is everything for my um for this section i didn't show you my eyeshadow thing again um but i did tell you so i pulled the secret admirer palette but i'm also working on two other palettes and this is why i forgot i only had one slot left for eyeshadows so it's because i'm working on the Too Faced shake your pom-poms palette this is in my 2023 project this is one of my favorite palettes in my collection so perfect for me and I've already used this um, in my last video I think you will see so loving this well I already knew I loved it but loving that it's in my project pan not that I think I'll pan an eyeshadow ever but I just want to get a lot of use on it and then this one got rolled into my deck of panning for the prompt indie brand so this is from the brand Eloise and it's the Queen palette and I'm super excited to use this. This is like a jewel toned rainbow palette. Well, it's mostly pink 
and there's no green, but anyway, <laughs> it's a colorful dual tone palette and I'm very excited about it. So there's that one too. So that is all the makeup I'll be focusing on um, probably until like March because since this is like kind of Valentine's Day theme, I want to keep everything like this for the month of February. And we're only in January as I'm filming this. So I should get a lot of good use on these products. And yeah, that's everything. So, okay, my memory card just got full, which is a little concerning because it's 32 gigs. <laughs> so I have a new one in. Anyway, um, I was just about to do the outro anyway. So this is everything for my Shop My Stash. I hope you guys like this video. I feel like every time I film this video, it's in a different format. So please give me your suggestions or comments below how you prefer this type of video um, because it's one of my favorite videos to film. So I want to do it good. <laughs> anyway, like this video, if, no. <laughs> If you like this video, give it a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!